Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Wall Tutorials. I am Koichi GZ and in this video I'm going to actually do another video on uh, how much damage I can do with the Raging Flame Flash Claw. So uh, yeah, this weapon is actually quite good. So in my last video that I did on this, uh, on how much damage I can do on this, I believe I got a little over 24,000 damage. Um, actually, after that off video, um, in a battle against Oni Combo, I actually got 29,000 damage with this particular weapon. I wasn't able to record it, but um, I'm actually sure that with uh, this weapon on the Snow Queen, I can actually get uh, even more damage. So I actually did get like around 22,000 damage with uh, the Snow Queen. But um, I didn't actually have all the conditions that I normally would have on. But uh, with this particular battle, I think I can actually pull it off. So against uh, the Snow Queen at level 30. So uh, in this case, uh, you're going to see a couple of different things with this particular team. Probably the biggest difference here is you're going to see uh, my Armamentalist. Uh, my Armamentalist is going to be equipped with the Inferno one. I finally got it. Um, yeah, it's, um, it's a weapon that was much needed uh, for this particular team. Uh, I needed uh, a good uh, magic-based weapon that actually had Gita on it, so I'm actually glad that I got this finally. But uh, again, my main focus is going to be uh, the Rage of Time Flash Call. So um, in this case, uh, hopefully I'll be able to get something oof. Um, in my one video that I did against uh, the Snow Queen, I did around 22,000 damage. So I'm hoping for something over 25. And if I can, possibly something over 29, hopefully, uh, like I did with Oni Combo. But uh, I'm not sure if that's going to happen, but we're going to have to see uh, what happens in this video. So, um, yeah, um, with that said, uh, here we go. Okay, so here we go against the Snow Queen. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do is use Fubaha to lessen the damage of breath attacks. Then next, uh, I'm going to use the Protective Shield's uh, Stunny combination to increase my attack power for my battle master then here i'm going to put on force burst to increase the rate of my force breaks and then for my sage okay snow queen goes first so here i'm going to risk it a little bit and go use Zutani, which actually does go in so good so here I'm going to use force burst uh Fubaha. <laughs> Then here, going to use Spinny. And then hopefully here with my um, Mentalist, I can get a Force Break. Okay, so I did get one in, and good, my Sage went next, so I got that healing. Here's my Nisa. Okay, so that's fine there. Um, so here, I'm going to try to attack. Hopefully, I can hit. Okay, then here, um, a regular attack. Okay, so you saw there that did 13,000 damage. Um, that actually was a crit as well. Hopefully, again. Okay, good. I got a force break. Uh, not a force break. Yes, I did. A force break. Yes. Um, got a force break there. So, uh, I pretty much have. Um, all the debuff uh, conditions met right now, so I got Rukani and also Force Breaks on. So uh, this next turn coming up, hopefully um, I will survive. Um, let's see, I want to use uh, Gather Battle Spirit Strength. And then here, um, here's a Spell Crit. Ooh, wow, that actually worked out quite well. So let's see, physical attack on my ranger. The next is that there. So with this next turn, uh, hopefully um, my battle master will actually be enraged. This turn, 
Yes, okay, so um, I have all conditions met. I have Rukani, I have the Force Breaks full in, uh, Gather Battle Spirit Strength, my Balance Spirit at level 3, and also my attack up as well. So uh, let's see how much damage I can actually do. Ooh, okay, so I actually got it. Yes, so that was it. So I got um, 30,000 damage, so I was able to actually get it. Oh, wow, good. And um, that actually was with, um, again, not a critical hit. So um, again, if it was a critical hit, um, the damage would actually have been a lot more. Okay, so good. So um, with this team, I was actually able to um, beat uh, my record against uh, for damage. So um, in the previous video that I did, I did got twenty four thousand damage. Then uh, off video got twenty nine, and here I got over thirty thousand. So um, yeah, so that actually worked. And again, that was actually without it being a critical hit. Again, if it was a critical hit, um, I'm actually not even sure how much damage it would have been. It probably, I'd say, around ooh, maybe 35,000, possibly. Could have been more. But yeah, I got 30,000 damage uh, with that one hit. So um, yeah, this weapon is actually really good. Really good. Um, yeah, I really... Um, my Gita team actually, uh, I'd say from a couple of months ago, uh, my Gita team was probably one of my not, was probably one of my least, um, favorite teams to use. Um, but now, um, I got that weapon, I got the Inferno one now, um, so this team actually has worked out quite well, and that actually, um really met my expectations so i was able to get over thirty thousand damage so i'm uh, really happy with that so with that said i'm going to end this battle here or this video here i should say so thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please leave a like if you would like to see more please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video